Hey folks, John Hazelt here, Ashland Fly Shop. I don't want you to be afraid of the snake roll. Snake roll is uh, it's a little bit of an intimidating cast. It's, it's a tough one to teach and, a, and it can be difficult to learn. I'm going to give you a couple key points here that will give you the tools to go try it on your own. First of all, this cast is in the Splash and Go family, which means my anchor and D-loop form at the same time as the anchor splashes down the D-loop forms. This cast has four dis distinct strokes and all four strokes go away from or towards your target. And our first stroke, which I call the tension stroke, always starts opposite your target. And then your next stroke is towards your target, third aw away from it, and your fourth is your cast. So let's go through the strokes. I'll show you a couple things, show you a couple of the major faults to look out for, and you won't be as afraid. So, stroke one I call the tension stroke. And so I'm on river right, casting to river left, and the tension stroke is always towards the bank. And so I do that by bringing the rod up into this position towards the bank. It's almost like as if my rod was here and I turned around and I was casting this way, I'm in the perfect casting position. So I'm almost just getting my rod to the key position. I don't want to pull the line towards me. I just want to move the rod towards the opposite bank. Okay, so I call that the tension stroke. So here's a tension stroke from which I go into the target stroke. My rod's going to go from here towards my target. So that's stroke two, stroke three, stroke four. So the first two strokes will end up connecting. So it's the tension stroke and that first target stroke. Those are connected. And what those two strokes do is get my line in the air. Once my line's in the air, I splash down my anchor, make my D loop simultaneously, and then make my forward cast. So it's tension, target, D stroke, cast. So I'll put those all together here for you. Tension, target, D stroke, cast. Now it's key when we do this that our rod tip stays high through all these strokes. If we don't want it round, we want a thin stroke. So if you can imagine a hot dog in the sky laying horizontally. So Often, if you look at the tree line, if the hot dog is laying on top of the tree line, that's basically where your rod's going to move. So your tension stroke goes under it. Your first forward stroke, target stroke, goes over it. Your D-loop stroke goes under it, and then your forward cast towards the target. So a good high rod is a key to the snake roll. Tension, target, D-stroke, cast. So as I do those four strokes, with my rod high, I want you to picture the hot dog in the sky, and I also want you to envision that there is a wall or a piece of paper. And I'm stealing this from Gosworth's spay casting book. He has a lot of great illustrations of different casts that he draws on a wall with the rod tip. So if, if out at the end of your rod tip there's a wall, I'm going to just draw those strokes on that wall and so my rod tip is on that plane throughout those strokes so i got my hot dog in the sky i'm going to do my tension target d stroke cast that's a snake roll so when you put it all together it'll have a certain rhythm to it and it starts a little quicker than it finishes and we have to be patient we have to let that anchor splash down. So the first two strokes, the tension target strokes are a little quicker, and then the pace slows down as we finish the cast. So it's almost like one, two, three, four. Tension, target, D stroke, cast. Okay? One, two, three, four. That's the basic rhythm. One, two, three, four. So as long as your rod's high, 
and your, your strokes are thin, circling the, the hot dog in the sky. Your tension stroke has to be towards the bank. I start quicker than I finish. I'm patient to let my anchor splash down as my D-loop forms before I make the forward cast. You're going to have a successful cast. A couple of the main faults are this. A, if your tension stroke comes towards you at all, so will the line. Okay, So we have to make sure that tension stroke goes towards the opposite bank. And it, it, we're really not moving any line, we're just getting the line tight. The tension stroke just sets up stroke number two. The other major fault is instead of a nice thin circle in the hot dog procedure, if my strokes get round. If my strokes get round, then the line will touch down, too much line will touch down too soon. Okay, so I'll have too much anchor stick, not enough D loop. So those are the two major faults that you have to look out for. But if you keep the rod high and the tension stroke only goes towards the opposite bank, you got a good chance of pulling this thing off. Well, thanks for tuning in, folks. Don't be afraid of the snake roll. Go out and practice. Have fun with it. If you have any questions, give us a holler at the Ash and Fly Shop. See you next time.